Louisiana Beer Reviews, Sierra Nevada Brut IPA Spring Seasonal here in February. <laughs> Not the spring. 6.2% alcohol. The international bitterness units are 25, so be a little bitter, not too much. This was bottled, packaged on December 18, 2018, less than a month old. So introduced in 2018, extra dry IPA. Oh, are we getting back to the dry beers? Bud Dry. Dry Olympia. Okay, could it happen? Would it happen? Should it happen? I think so, because I loved Bud Dry. Okay, uh, two row pale malt, wheat, and acidulated malts are there. And they use Simcoe hops for bittering. And for finishing, they use Comet, Crystal, Chinook, and Simcoe. Beer Advocate gives it a 73. They say that's good. I would call that average. They say it's good. Rapier says no, it's better than the 73. It's an 81 out of 100. But in the style, it's only a 69. So in the style, it's not really good. Good beer overall, bad in the style. Okay, that's what they're saying. And then Untap, as usual, lowest score of the three, 71 out of 100. 71 out of 100, which I would call barely average. But now, the New Belgium Brute IPA, I did not... I did not like it. I thought it was bad. It had a weird smoke taste. And I gave it a D. I'm sorry, I didn't want to do that. But to me, it seemed like a bad beer, so I gave it a D. All right. A, excellent. B, good. C, fair. D, bad. F, undrinkable. You can't drink it. Simple as that. Okay. Nice smoke coming out the top of the bottle. I don't know if you can see all that smoke. Look at that. Very light ale appearance. Thick, off white head on this very dreary 8.20 a.m. Slightly chilly, very humid today here in February. Yep, clear, bubbly, golden like champagne. Kind of that yellow gold sediment. Let's see. Maybe very powdery sediment, but not really. It's pretty clear. Okay. Light, biscuity, a little touch of lemon. Kind of reminds me of the golden ale from um, the Big Wave golden ale, right? From Kona. Yeah, it smells kind of like that. The taste, it's sweet in the aroma. Aroma sweet, a little bread crust, white, white bread crust. Mm. Yeah, it really does. I don't know if I'd be able to tell these, tell them apart, the Kona Big Wave and this, and a blind taste test. I really do not know, but probably never do that, but it's interesting kind of shocked by that. Same thing, the little sweet white bread crust, a little bit of lemony notes. Super dry and crisp. If you're into the dry thing, if you're into the dry look, this can really work. You can go buy some consort hairspray. You can get some Sierra Nevada Brute IPA. <laughs> you can score it an A, which is what I'm going to score it. I think it is a most excellent beer. The scores on Beer Advocate, Rape Beer, and Untapped are too low. What's wrong with this beer? Uh, nothing. I mean, except you have to buy it. A little sheen of sediment at the bottom. Yeah, this is really delicious. Um, wow, what a change from that smoke kind of catastrophe with the New Belgium fruit. Mm. Now, it does have that Sierra Nevada house, not style, but 
house character, I guess. So maybe I would be able to tell a little part from that big wave. So most excellent, 94 out of 100. Now I have this hogshead cheese, hot hogshead cheese. I put some trappies, a little sauce on it on these soda crackers. And one of them I had the Yamasa soy sauce. Thank you, Ken. So you might be saying to yourself, I always did wonder if hogshead cheese would pair well with a Brute IPA. And the answer is yes. There's the United States Postal Service coming by. Yes, it pairs very well. <laughs> so les et les bon temps roulés. Delicious snack, delicious beer. Not bad weather, really, when you consider February. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to southeastern Louisiana.